I am Dr. Sridhar. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying the videos uh, that have been shared so far. I have a request. Please do subscribe to the channel as you are subscribing motivates me. And uh, please do like and comment on the videos as possible because the more engagement you show, the more likely that YouTube is going to share the videos with other viewers who have similar interests. With this we move on to the next video. I hope you like it as well. Today we will discuss a very important topic which is a hot topic and uh, many of you may have come across the news. This is more relevant to the US uh, situation but obviously it has implications all over the world. So there was a recent judgment in one of the US states and uh, it was related to the use of premature formula and the risk of NEC. So uh, it's basically uh, Mead Johnson which was involved with the brand of uh, preterm formula that it produces and the mother company Rickett Bannister was asked by the court to pay 60 million US dollars uh, to compensate for the loss of a premature baby who died of NEC after being fed. The main argument was that uh, the uh, risk of uh, NEC was not conveyed to the parents as well as that it was riskier than alternatives like donor milk. Obviously the company is going to uh, appeal against it and at the same time there are about 400 lawsuits and uh, there are uh, uh, people looking for uh, lawsuit checklist encouraging parents of premature babies with NEC to sue the companies. So obviously this will apply both to the formula milk as well as the formula based fortifier. So there is a potential uh, lobby which is going to champion against this and this, this puts the formula milk companies as well as the neonatologists and the team looking after the premature babies in a difficult spot. One of the main issues is that Express breast milk and donor breast milk are obviously better options, but are they always available? And there are many reasons why a mother may not be able to produce enough milk in the beginning. And in a premature baby, we know that the alternative, the uh, milk uh, we start with is donor milk if you have the option. The uh, human milk based fortifiers uh, or the human milk substitutes that are available are very expensive and most of the time not affordable in general terms. We start in an extreme premature baby with total parental nutrition and uh, the mother starts expressing milk. In majority of the situations, the mother produces enough uh, express milk over the first three to four days. So we do wait for uh, 24 to 48 hours for the mother's milk to come. But beyond that stage, we would like to start the feeds because we have to go step by step in these babies. We cannot suddenly increase volume. Suppose we are increasing by 10 to 20 ml per kilo per day and the initial period on trophic feeds matters as well. So any time lag in delaying the start of the feeds would mean you have more days on parental nutrition, you have more days on uh, long line and central line access. These are not without risk as well. And obviously when we start milk, any milk uh, has been shown to reduce the risk compared to giving the uh, keeping the gut empty and uh, the gut dysbiosis is a high risk as well when you have more central line days, more antibiotics. So necrotizing enterocolitis is not a, a single causation disease, it's multifactorial. The most important factor that leads to it is prematurity and obviously the dysbiosis related to use of antibiotics, the mode of delivery, for example, delivery by cesarean alters the gut microbiota and this could play a role as well. The timing of the feed, the rate of increase of the feed, uh, what milk we give, these are all important and obviously uh, mother's own breast milk is uh, ideal uh, uh, feed for these babies. Uh, you could say that in the best of situations about 60 to 70 percent of the babies could get mother's own milk which is adequate for the rate of progress by day three, day four, but there is a good 20 to 30 percent who may not have that. Donor breast milk is not always an option because the milk banks have to be available. Uh, the milk needs to be screened. There is a cost involved. And in many states uh, in the Middle East, for example, uh, 
there is a debate about the chronic implications of uh, giving another mother's milk because they become siblings uh, in terms of uh, recognition. So uh, it becomes a challenge. There are uh, human milk based uh, products available in the market recently, but they are very expensive and there is a limited availability. So coming back to the case itself, I mean, it's very interesting to see what the uh, neonatal uh, faculty who argued in the case would have mentioned because obviously the jury has uh, considered the company guilty. The main fault is that they didn't inform the parents about the risk of NEC, but we know that the parents do uh, discuss with the uh, doctors and all the colleagues, all the nurses, the doctors, the lactation consultants, we all express the benefits of breast milk when we encourage them to express. Some parents may choose not to and some others try but they don't get it in the immediate phase so they do, do need to use some formula milk where there is no other option. So between use of TPN and use of formula milk, most of us would go for formula milk if there is no other uh, option. And this brings to the challenge of what responsibility do the neonatologists have in such decisions. So the milk companies are obviously going to come out with leaflets or disclaimers and it becomes a neonatologist's responsibility to make sure that the parents are aware of this risk. They may share the leaflets with them because many times the milk is started in the NACU. The parents are not involved in the decision of what milk is started and they don't go through the tin or the uh, leaflets that come with the tin. So obviously, even though the company was sued, it's basically the neonatal unit which will be responsible for this and all units might have to have a clear uh, consent we do take consent when we start formula, but it has to state that there is a risk of NEC. So this is a landmark decision and I hope when the court reviews this decision, they consider the multifactorial nature of it and change their uh, approach because anything can be sued in this way and any decision we make can be questioned in this way. So there is the, uh, op we have to consider what are the options available. We have to consider whether it was done in the best interest or not. And obviously, whether the parents had a choice, even if uh, the company had written in their bottle or the tin that uh, there is a risk of an easy, would the parents have any other option? If they have the option of TPN versus feed, they would go for feed, even though they know that there is a risk. And it's not the formula alone that causes the uneasy, as we discussed before. So this is really a serious issue. And uh, this has implications on many things that we do. The decision to put umbilical arterial catheter, for example, if the baby has a future uh, renal involvement or any other concerns or hypertension, for example. The uh, decision to have permissive hyper hypercapnia and if the baby ends up with the IVH. If there is a decision to delay the treatment with surfactant, uh, trying to avoid unnecessary intervention and the baby gets into trouble. So any of these questions uh, can be debated and discussed. So it has to be a fair uh, discussion and the judgment, uh, the jury should consider all the options. I hope that uh, the review is done more seriously and we look forward to the appeal process and what the company, it's not to say that we are supporting the formula milk, but it is just to look at what are the options available and whether the uh, reasonable option available at that time was used or not. And of course, it's always important to educate the families in these cases and uh, this might uh, prove to be a landmark in that sense. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Do share your thoughts uh, and do comment to uh, mention what you think about this topic as well.